robot. Her name is Teeny Genie, and she is the final robot in a long line of designs that we tried this season and over the summer because um, our robot for last season looked like it might work for this game and we're trying to figure out if it would, but it turned out that it was too big. And so um, we tried to, to, tried to find a frame for the robot so it could be sturdy that was the right size. And we tried some that were inside, some that were minuscule, some that were too big, and we eventually decided um, on going with this one because it just seemed to be the best for the job. So the frame is to help the robot be sturdy and prevent camber from the wheel going and squeaking. And also it has a lot of places you can attach the attachments. And the robot has big wheels for speed. The front one has tires, the back one does not, to prevent friction. Oh, so, so, when, so it turns easier? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and we shielded our light sensors so that, <laughs> Sorry, <Jimmy>. so, <laughs> so that light wouldn't find its way as easily to the so to So, so, so y'all so don't have problems with having to recalibrate it based on um, the ambient light? We can light. calibrate it every robot Would you like to go ahead and demonstrate it? But, but like if the lighting session is it's casting funny shadows, that, that doesn't yeah, really affect it. it helps a little bit. Yeah. Right. Our calibration program, it moves across the line and calibrates the values every degree. So that is more accurate. You don't have to think, oh, is this white or not? Is this black or not? You go about this at mm -hmm. So this is our first mission that we run to get the Western rat and the trailer back to base. Well, <laughs> I think the rat was slow, but so we got it. And it also, and it also hits the blue off sometimes. <laughs> Um, the time, yeah, so, so we did also have a program to get the ball. This is our um, second program. What it does is it goes out and gets the pink bacteria and then it would hit the combine and ball and bring the, uh, a piece of corn back to us. Now we're using our line follower. It's not like the basic two-stage line follower where um, where it's just the robot sees black and white. So it, the two-stage one moves back and forth a lot more. Uh, ours is five stage, it divides the light value by 20. Yeah, value by 20, so it knows where it is on the line and it moves a lot straighter. Okay, so it's, it's not necessarily tracking the line itself, it's tracking the, 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 the edge of the line. The, the transition so, between the white and black. Right. right. It's, it's, it, 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 it varies how much of the, it based off how much is, how dark or light it is, it decides, it decides how far yeah. off. Yeah, you just put the yellow bacteria on to demonstrate yeah. the food. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Pretending these are groceries. <laughs> <laughs> and the table. When we started this, they were still using the actual full field sets for matches. So. Something <laughs> But the combine is invisible. And we don't have a flower on it. <laughs> I don't think that matters too much. It's four, and then it sees the white line and it stops there so that we don't it, we don't go for degrees, we follow the line, or we can stop when it sees the line so it's more accurate. And also, um, the tray on the side of the robot, our germ tray, um, catch, tends to catch the bacteria more accurately than just dragging a huge box out behind you or whatever. So then the last mission that we run here, do you want to check that this is set up right? I think it is. Turns the fish so the fish is still in its mark and we get the points for that. Turns the one bacteria so we get two points for that and then all of the viruses. And normally oh, it doesn't it always work. We need to look at that when it's not moving straight. But it well, we plan to do next. We have a master program already programmed so it would easily divide up the mission so we can easily find them and they're all in order. And we are also planning to do some of the other missions on this side of the field, the pizza loop, the ice cream loop, the timer, and the thermometer. And the master program it has a couple of glitches. We used a master program last year, and it's similar to the other one, but there's a couple of glitches I haven't figured out yet. So we're hoping to get they, that working yeah, for the next Basically tournament. what that would do is it's one program that has all the other programs inside it. 
So you could just toggle back and forth, and after one program is done running, it already sets it to the next one. So it's a lot faster because long time off is better than running. Mm -hmm. So, so well, once you get it all debugged, you'll be able to put the robot down at the end of the match, push the button, and it will ideally run all the way through with no further yeah. interaction. Well, it well, still no. goes back to base. Um, but we only have to push, push one button yeah. instead of going back and forth, and you just have to push the orange button to start the next, because it automatically hits. But you oh, can't go back to another mission in case you need to run. Right. Use um, my blocks and variables in our programs. We also commented all of our programs, so it's easier to That is extremely good practice, because that means if something happens and you lose, you know, look, the, your, the majority of your knowledge about your software, someone else can come back and look through it and figure out what's going on without either having to rewrite it entirely or reverse engineer it. Um, yeah. yeah. But we so also have a, a lot of my blocks to simplify <laughs> our programs so that they're not so long, mm -hmm. like for Swap turns. Yep. We have ones for left and right, so that way. And the my blocks for the line followers help a lot. Yeah. That would be. A very it used long to be with a swap turn, we have have to do a split beam yeah. every yeah. single. I do like the my blocks because that um, that makes debugging a lot simpler because if they there's a problem with your turn, instead of having to. Yeah, they you know, if there's twelve turns in your program, you have to fix it twelve times. You fix it once, one. and it, you don't have to worry about yeah. miss you missed anything. So. And it downloads a lot faster. Yeah. We have this huge Especially our master program. program like, like, yeah. Our master program would take forever if we didn't use the box for the program. Okay, and uh, just sort of, you know, is, in general, is no, knowledge about specific things spread out amongst multiple team um, members? Yeah, actually, yeah. last year for like the line follower, the calibration program, and that stuff, Aiden had found them and knew how to program them, and our coach had us had a sit down so that she would teach us all yeah. how to do um, do it in basic knowledge so that yeah, that's kind of this year. So yeah, if, if, if any one team member you know moved away or changed schools or anything or anything, you, you wouldn't lose a, a big chunk of knowledge. Right. 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 Yeah. My only question is who makes the website? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anika is mainly in charge of that. Yeah. I know a bit of HTML. Yeah, but we're, we're very, yeah. yeah. I said you were learning and teaching everyone else. So. Is there any Flash in your website? No. Awesome. I despise Adobe Flash. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm about to say, uh, considering that you've never taken, have you taken an HTML class? She's taught them. Well, <laughs> in general, if like if. A member of your team, maybe you know, they don't understand the code well enough to write it, but they understand it well enough to figure out what it's supposed to be doing and how it interacts with the robot. And then that can that can make sort of troubleshooting thing. problems for like a, 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 a small flaw in the software is combined with a small flaw in the hardware to make something go really. Did well. you label it in the program or? Did yes. You yes. Mm -hmm. And then I printed out as an HTML file. What well, about? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Okay. Okay. Okay.